RMV I jeans. Here to take you on another level in new horizons. Right. See clear, no hey everybody. Rising. My name is Reggie Mattis, and I'm here to talk to you about what's going on today. And I'm sure you can't help but to see it on social media, to see it on the news, on TV, radio, wherever you're going to go. I wish I could get in the ear, especially to, you know, my African Americans and my black brothers and sisters and talk to them directly. Because what's going on right now is the focus is being moved into a, a, a into a position to where it's not going to progress what needs to be progressed you know i see people talking about on june 14th or june 10th something like that don't go and go out and shop for one day are you serious it means everybody's going to mass shop the day before so they're still getting their money they're just getting you know here's the thing People, let's, let's take it one step at a time. We all understand that George Floyd's death is the reason that a lot of this is going on and because black men are being killed by excessive force by police officers. As a black man, I understand it. As a black man, I have experienced the discrimination and the stereotyping by police officers. If y'all watch one of my podcast shows, I talked about the specific circumstances in which I was pulled over by the police that was absolutely stupid. But here's the thing. We have to come up with a long-term resolution that's going to preserve our lives and also put some authority and take some of this abuse of power away from these police officers. Now, before I get into that, you know, I want to say this. When you when we when the riding takes place, but for, let me say this about the current riot. I know I'm kind of bouncing. I don't believe that the current riots are all people that are supporting George Floyd. I think you got some people that are like let's support let's let's bring awareness to what happened we want something done you got those people who really want to do something about police brutality then you got the people who are upset with our st that stupid man who holds the title of president and the whole COVID 19 situation and then you got the people who just want to get out and have an excuse to do something now i think that's a small percentage but that percentage is actually having a huge negative effect across the board because burning down buildings burning down places that's not going to help the cause because you got to think about what what's going to be the after effect when this is done you're going to have people who work in that community who don't have a job all those companies to recoup their losses which means prices are going to go up grocery store prices is going to go up they all have to recoup their losses having to rebuild restock get more inventory find more staff so you're bringing more you're bringing a higher expense on the community so economically the riots are going to hurt the community now the police department here's what y'all are doing for the police officer which you don't understand you think those police officers out there are not going to be compensated for all this you're basically giving them a fat, fat paycheck and some of those police officers are probably volunteering for the extra time because you know what they're probably getting the regular pay overtime pay they're probably getting some type of hazard pay so these cops are financially benefiting while the community is economically going to suffer so this short-term reaction is going to have a negative impact it's not going to bring about change now it will make them pay attention but their mindset is listen once this blows over you know we might do some charges might not but you know what just just yeah, they're gonna pay this back. They just don't know it yet. And they're just gonna let, they're gonna be like, oh, everybody be okay. It'll all die down. We have to come up with long-term methods of fixing this problem, not just rioting. I mean, how, what are we gonna do? Riot every time a black person gets killed, then economically face the circumstances and consequences from it, which means more of our black youth are ending up in jail or without the things they need in their community? That's not the way to do it. That's not the way to do it. Now, 
I have heard several newscasters, primarily white, who have said, I don't understand the rioting. It doesn't make sense. Now, I'm gonna reflect back to one of the people who often makes that, who, who said they don't understand the rioting, and that's Jebediah Billa, who used to be on The View, but now is back with Fox News. Jebediah Billa, I think they were talking about the Missouri 42 bill one time. I think that's what it was. But they were talking about the Missouri 42 bill, and she had the nerve to come out of her mouth and say, when people are going through these things and you know this discrimination and injustice and they're going through these things people like me who doesn't know what it's like to be pulled over for no reason you have to tell us well here's the problem you have been told and like i said back then because i did a video on that that was the dumbest comment anybody could have ever made and she still has that same mentality today the reason the black community is so upset is, is because you have been told. And it's not only about how blacks are being treated by the police, but also when we're discriminated in the work environment. When we say something, we become that angry black person. If you go to the police department, you're just a criminal thug and you just want to play the race card. That's how it's labeled. See, you've been so busy labeling us as the angry black man, angry black woman, or the useless black man, that you haven't been listening. And the whole time we've been telling you. And this is the result of people who are saying nobody's listening to us. And there are no resolutions. The only thing that's come out of this from all these all these police departments is, oh yeah, we'll retrain, we'll retrain, yeah, we'll retrain. Well, clearly your retraining is not working. And this whole time, all you got is Joe Biden and the rest of the politicians talking about, we're gonna do all we can to see that he's prosecuted. But not one of them is offering up a solution to fix the problem. Not one is coming up with a solution to fix the problem. I have, had, I have not heard one congressman, one politician absolutely say we have to come up with something that's going to resolve this issue. And I'm talking about the issue of current policers, police officers on the police force behavior and complaints being tracked. I'm talking about police officers who leave and go work for other places. And you can even make it for anybody who carries a gun falls into this system. But the thing about it is, you don't want to track that. You don't want to track the behavior of these police officers. You don't want to track the arrest records of these police officers. If you got police officers that's working outside jobs, you know, what is their behavior? Do you have a problem with police officers who work in urban communities? Do you have a problem with police officers who work in Hispanic communities? Do you have a problem with police officers who tend to arrest certain people and excuse others do you have police officers who when they do their arrest reports are their reports being tampered with are they using suggestive wording to make it seem like a person was more irate or more angry to justify their behavior in treating them see you don't want to do the work but this is the consequences it's a simple system to put in place it is somewhat already in place. You already have the NCIS system to track everybody who's supposed to have a crime. But why are we not tracking police officers? If a police officer has a bad record in Georgia or a bad record in Minnesota, why is that police officer allowed to go and work in California or Texas or Houston? Why is this police officer who has been known for discriminating practices or targeting uh, black people. He has all these complaints against him. He's known for being violent and over aggressive when he does arrests. He's a short tempered officer. Why is this officer allowed to go work in another place? The system is in place to actually make this work to where you can track police officers, you can not track their behavior patterns, you can not track their arrest records, but nobody wants to do the work.
because it's easier to watch a black person die. And this is the result. You're not listening. Black people have told you for years that we're being discriminated against this way. We're being picked on this way. We're being oppressed this way. But nobody listens. Nobody wants to hear us. So quick to say, you're just, they're just playing the race card. You're the angry black person. And this is the result. You get the riots because people feel like they're not being heard. They feel like they're not being heard. And I'll be the first to tell you, we don't have the James Baldwin's, the Malcolm X's, we don't have the Martin Luther King's, we don't have the leaders who are, were actually in the trench with the people. We got a lot of people that say, I'm in tune with the street. A lot of celebrities say that. I keep with the streets. I'm in tune with the streets. But they're in the tune with the streets from social media. They walk out there in the fancy cars to show people how good they got it. The thing about it is, you know, we, we, we're, now, we're not seeing that we miss the Jane Baldwins. We miss the Martin Luther Kings. We miss the Malcolm X's. You know, they don't just go, they didn't go to a news platform and say, do this. You know, when the news stations or the governors or mayors call, hey, come up here and speak to these people. And that's basically what everybody wants. T out with that dumb, this is Wakanda, we don't do this. You know, there's a lot I want to say, but it, it's just certain things I want to say that just not, I'll be honest with you, it's not meant for everybody. It's meant for our people. It's meant for our people. But the rioting is not helping. It's, it's not helping. And I'll tell you, as angry as as I know we are, and like I said, I understand, I'm not justifying the police at all. Because for me, I, you know, I've worked with some good police officers, and I know some police officers that will honestly tell you that guy is a shorthead, that guy's a hothead, that guy overreacts. It's hard to justify good police officers when something like this is what happened with George Floyd and you got all these police officers standing around and nobody, you heard the crowd yelling at him talking about get off his neck, get off his neck. Not one person could have came over there and said, hey man, I'm gonna hold him down, back your knee up a little bit. We wouldn't even be in this situation right now. Put the man in the car. It's a lot that's going on. And it's just, I, I, I get it. I'm bothered by it. I'm upset by it. But I want a long-term resolution that when these cops do this type of stuff, that they are punished. I want, to, I want it to be so, if you go out here and you got the, all these complaints about how you treat Hispanics, how you treat black people, I want it to be where you can't go and work somewhere else. If you got an officer that's got a problem with Muslims, he should not be allowed, and he's been aggressive, he should not be allowed just to go to another city or state and get a job as a police officer. He needs to find something else to do because clearly that's not the job for him. But y'all got to understand, police officers, it's hard for people to say that we got good cops when you got cops standing around watching people die, watching people. You're watching your partner do immoral and violent acts which you know are not justified and you do nothing. And I think this is the issue. This is the issue. But for us as the citizens, the black people, we have to look for long-term resolutions. Burning down and rioting is not gonna fix the problem. I have an idea, but I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm a know-it-all. I need a couple more people that's kind of, you know, uh, let's just say more experience and with some expertise in certain areas because there's a way to fix this. There is, but it's just a matter of getting it done. And this is something the government should be doing. Now, to that one live broadcast, I don't, you know, it's, it's some good brothers, man, some good brothers. I just don't like the way they said that should are black men afraid to protest and should more black I, I don't like stuff like that because that that is such a wrong 
statement and it sends an entirely wrong message. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think black men are afraid to protest. You know what I'm saying? Or black men are afraid to riot. Rioting doesn't accomplish anything. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. And I, and I think we have to get to the point to where we got to get past all that. That's just more things that putting black men against black women and black women against black men. And that's what's got to stop. That's what's got to stop. But the rioting needs to stop. We need to stop and refocus ourselves to get back on track. And I hear a lot of, especially these celebrities talking about, you know, where the old way, the old, they got a lot of stuff done. That's why we're at the point where we're at right now. So y'all need to stop knocking the James Baldwin's and Martin Luther King's and Malcolm X's because they did way more than any of y'all done. Y'all think it's all about money. Money is a part of it, but they knew how to bring unity and y'all don't know how to do that. But anyway, man, that's my two cents, man. Listen, we, 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 gotta, we gotta come with a long-term resolution to get this right. I'm tired of seeing my fellow black brothers, you know, being pulled over, harassed, and ending up dead. I don't wanna see it anymore. And I know that we are gonna die, but I'm tired of us seeing us die with our face down, buried into the concrete or the dirt. We, 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 we gotta come up with a long-term resolution. You gotta stop. It's time to tune in. This here so fire. Empower your voice to inspire. Yeah, R M B I G.